PeachTools.com. G'day guys, PDF from Peach Tools, how are we all going today? It's a beautiful day here on my side of the world. Good to be alive today, wouldn't be dead for quids. Anyway, what's the old get going on about today? Well, it's the old story, isn't it? What's best, pilot arc or non-pilot arc plasma cutter? Hey, everybody's got their own ideas. Do you need a drag tip? Do you not need a drag tip? And it just gets awfully confusing, especially when you first start plasma cutting, guys. So that's what the old gets going on about today. What we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to do a demo on a non-pilot arc machine, and then we'll do a demo on a pilot arc machine like this, and we'll see which one works out best for whatever type of material we're cutting. Anyway, enough bullshit from me, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day in the comments below if you want, and let's get into it, eh? Yeah. So what we'll do guys, is we'll get the old Cut 40 up and running, and we'll do a cut with this, and this is a non pilot machine, so we'll do this one first, and then what we'll do is we'll get the old pilot art going here. Now if you may notice guys, this plasma torch here is the same as this plasma torch here. But this one here is a pilot arc, and this one here is not a pilot arc. And you're saying, why is that? Well, that's just because they use the same style torch for two different sorts of machines. Um, the only difference is the pilot arc has the uh, extra wire here, as you can see. See where you put your extra wire on here? Whereas if you look here, we don't have the extra wire at all. Here we just have one, two, three fittings. This is your earth that you clamp onto your work. This is for the on-off switch here. This one here. And this here is your main power lead plus your air lead. So your ear comes up here in this hose, but it has a big power lead running up the inside of it that goes to your cutting tip here. That's what gives you the power to your torch. A lot of people think this is just an ear hose, but it's not. And how you'll find out that it's not is if you touch that at the same time as what you're plasma cutting, you'll get a bloody electric shock. And how do I know that? Because I've done it. <laughs> don't do that, guys. Honestly, don't do that. It's not worth the aggravation. <laughs> Gave me the shits to tell you the truth. But anyway, you live and learn, don't you? So now I can hear the wheels sticking over. What the hell's the point of having two different machines if they do exactly the same thing? Well, they don't, guys. And this is what I'm trying to show you. Because when I first brought this, the Pilot Arc version was a lot more expensive. So I didn't go for the Pilot Arc version. You know me, if you watched any of my videos, I'm as cheap as chips. So I went for the cheapest version I could possibly find. But after using it for three or four months, I realized that I should have brought a Pilot Arc. But anyway, you, like I say, you live and learn. And you don't know until you've done it. So that's why I want to show you the difference. And then you guys can get an idea before you go and buy a machine which one's suitable for you. Makes sense to me. Right, guys, so what we'll do is we'll turn him on and we'll set him up to uh, 40 amps. 40 amps like so. We'll turn this one on here. We'll set him up to 40 amps as well. 30, 35, 38, 30 and 40. So we've got the same amperage on both machines here. This one just doesn't have a digital gauge, that's all, because it's a bit older. Remember guys that the black torch here is the drag tip, the non-pilot arc, and the green torch here is pilot arc. Let's get into it. So guys, let's have a go with the drag tip first. Same as usual, just cut them up. Perfect. Right anyway, guys, now let's have a go with the pilot arc torch, eh? So you're saying to yourself, well, what's the bloody difference? Well, virtually nothing on this, guys. But as we get along a bit, you'll see yourself that there is a huge difference between these two torches. As you may notice, pilot arc starts when I pull the trigger. Like so. Whereas the non-pilot arc, you have to touch the steel before the arc will start. No arc. arc. Whereas you just pull the button on that one and the arc starts automatically. Now guys if we get rid of this and go to something like this this is about 5 mil, 4 mil, 5 mil maybe but it's actually got a coating on it, it's got some sort of paint on it you know that hard paint that you get and the other side is actually uh, checker plate like so. So we'll try cutting that. First of all guys, we've just got our normal drag tip, our non-pilot arc torch. See what's happening? Not a lot. And the problem with that is, we've got a layer of paint or something that's blocking the tip from touching the actual steel, so it won't start up. 
Now to get around that guys, all you have to do is scrape a bit of the paint off and get it to start and then you can cut. But if you're working under a car or something, or something that's covered in grease or whatever and you can't get a grinder under there to clean it up, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, especially when you're cutting off old rusty bolts and that. Here, I'll show you the pilot arc torch. As you can see guys, it just blows straight through the paint and it starts automatically. You don't have to scratch it and try and scratch a bit of paint off whatever you're trying to cut. See, if we use this torch again, it'll start this time because I've already taken the top layer of paint off. See how it starts now guys? It's because we've already removed the top layer of paint. So what I'm saying is if you're using this sort of torch, you have to clean up the surface a little bit before you start cutting. Right, now let's try something totally ugly guys. So you're working out on the farm, the ranch, and you come across a gate that needs welding and it looks like this. It's just covered in shit. There's no way in hell you're going to be able to cut that without cleaning it up first with the angle grinder. So let's try and cut this with the non-pilot arc piece on the cutter. If I put my earth a bit closer to it, it might be a bit better. Alright, give that a kick in the gut, see if that works. No way in hell are you going to get that started, see that guys, it just won't start. So now we'll try it with the pilot arc, see if that makes any difference. Put the old earth clamp as close as we can get to whatever we're cutting. And let's see if we can actually cut this. See that guys? How that cut that filthy steel? If you ever look how filthy that steel is guys, it's absolutely unbelievable. See that? That's been lying out in a paddock for a couple of years, that's what, that's what I mean. Like if you're working under cars and that sort of thing that's all covered in grease and shit, pile it arc any day of the week because you just can't get under there to clean it up and it's such a hassle too, it's just, it's, it's just a drama, well I think it is anyway. And the price of the pilot arc compared to the non-pilot arc these days is only $20 or $30, isn't it, normally? So guys, that's about enough bullshit for me. I just tried to show you what the difference was between pilot arc and non-pilot arc. And like I say, you know, $20 or $30 difference when you're buying your new machine, it's not going to break the bank, is it? Especially if you want to end up cutting crap like this. This is really, really ugly, and uh, if it's just a drag tip, we won't even look at it. Anyway, guys, same as usual. Like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day in the comments below. If you want to see a review on that pilot arc machine that I've just been using, check up here. If you want to see how to bend steel with your plasma cutter without actually cutting it off, check up this side. Anyway guys, see ya!